welcome back to this uh, video and uh, in this tutorial i want to i want us to learn on how uh, we make plots in seaborne using uh, specifically make bar plots in seaborne and uh, you might be wondering when and why should you use bar plots so bar plots are very very important because in your normal today data science journey you might come across data that is not numerical and uh, you want to compare them and that's where the power of bar plots comes in so bar plots are specifically very very useful when you are interested in making comparisons uh, general comparisons and uh, more specifically applicable for categorical data that exist in different states so that allows you to visualize them side by side and to do this i want us to use first of all import seaborne by now you should be used to this as sns that is the library we are going to use if you had imported it once and run it once you don't need to type it every time i'm just doing this for those who are watching this video for the first time and then we need to import our data which is in a csv format again i have uploaded the data is the link is in the comment section so we use the read csv function in pandas to read the data set and uh, the name of the file is traffic.csv and then as is the custom we just uh, visualize or have a look at the first few lines so let me make them three so that it doesn't take much space and then once we do that uh, we basically going to use a single line to plot the bar graph so in this case i want us to plot the speed of these drivers but then compare them by gender so i want to know the maximum speed or the speed distribution for the female and males uh, in terms of using the bar graph so to do that i'll just use the sns which is the seaborn and then seaborn has got a, a function called bar plot that allows you to plot this graph and it accepts the x so our x axis as is the custom i'm gonna make it gender and then the y axis i'm gonna make it the speed and of course the data set is df which is our data frame and uh, the palette which is the color again you can choose uh, let me just pull up the option so that you can see which one you're gonna choose alternatively you can download it by just typing seaborn color maps and it should come up so i'm gonna try set one so let me just copy that it's always a string and then run it so this should give me my bar graph so you can see it allows you to make comparison so quickly by just looking at this you can straight away tell that the maximum speed was achieved by the male gender uh, compared to female so this is very very important especially when you are giving a brief or a presentation on your results uh, another form of uh, data visualization tool that we can normally use is the box plots and box plots are important uh, in showing the distribution. So uh, let me just think this was the third. Let me make it the fourth. Let's change this to heading just for aesthetics. And make this box box plots. So box plots are very, very important uh when you want to show uh distribution and uh seaborn allows you to do that by simply doing sns which is the the library and then it has got the function called box plot and inside it in this case i want us to have the box plot of day and age so the distribution of age by day so day and then here the y axis is going to be age and then the data set obviously is our data frame which we already imported 
and then let's make it nice by having hue which is uh let me use the gender this one here and of course we select the palette so again i'm gonna pull this for you you can select which one you want let me go for you can select whatever works for you i think i'm gonna try why not try this one yellow green blue Let's see what it looks like okay and then run this you can see it tells you each of this what they mean so for those who are struggling with interpreting this so each of these box plots this one is for the female this is for the male and uh, the center line here basically gives you the median value and then these are the quartiles and uh, you see this dot here these are outliers which are not considered so this is important in also detecting if there's anomalies in your data set so this one you want to get rid of if you are going into or going to use this data for making projections or uh, predictions sorry in machine learning then this data set you want to remove it because it can uh, make your model to perform badly so this is an outlier and that is why sometimes it's just good to make visualizations of these uh, variables before making them or subjecting them to uh, these algorithms. Also, at a very quick one, I just want us to look at uh, uh, another category of uh, visualization called strip plots. So this one is interesting. It also shows you the distribution. So let me just rename that to strip. So and Sibon allows you to do that by using the function strip plot. And just as the previous one, you specify the x-axis, which in this case I'm gonna use day. And then my y-axis is gonna be total amount. And I can have the data obviously as df hue gender and then uh, the palette I'm gonna have spring so you can go back to that list and check which one you want and uh, there's an argument called dodge I will explain to you what it does once we generate the plot. So I'm going to just have it as true and then run this. So here is the strip plot. So the orange ones are the males and the pink ones are the female. I guess the, the plot knows most female will like color orange or color pink, sorry. So our Sibon is intelligent to do that. <laughs> So if we remove the true value from dodge, then it's not going to classify each of these. It, it's going to fail to draw the distinction. So let me just make that false so that you can see what it does. So you can see it doesn't uh, draw a clear distinction between them. So that's why you always want to have dodge as true. So that sums up uh, box plots, bar plots, and strip plots that you might find useful in your exploratory data analysis journey. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, tell a friend to tell a friend, subscribe so that you get notified before we have a new video. And remember to share this with a friend. For now, bye-bye.